All right, my dear friend, welcome to the channel. This is Salon's Block. Well, it is a match day. Chelsea, Fulham. Tonight, an early game, actually, in the UK. It's going to be very, very, very early. 12.30 p.m. UK time. Wherever you are, maybe it depends on your region where you are and the time you'll be watching it. In here in Malaysia, it's around 8 p.m. or 8.30 there about. And I will be back. After now, I'll come back with another episode. The last episode of the day before the match, two hours to the game, I will come with my team prediction and team lineup. Yes, but right now, I have some great news for you. Chelsea news. As your breakfast. <laughs> Dear friend, wherever you are, I appreciate your company and I want to, I want to appreciate you once again. Actually, I, it, I owe it a responsibility to continue to appreciate you because you made it possible that this channel is still running. Let me hear from you in the comment section. Let me know where you are watching me from. What you think about all that we are doing here. I shall surely reply or respond to your comment. Well, well, well. We are starting with Chelsea Fulham. There are transfer news that are coming up. But I want to deal with issues that are stick first. Yes. Today's game or tonight's game or this afternoon's game. It is not going to be an easy game. We are playing against a well-organized side. We are playing against a tactical coach. We are playing against an experienced squad. By the way, in Chelsea, don't we have the experience? We are always talking about experience, experience, experience. Quickly, let me take you through this. Chelsea have not lost at Stamford Bridge against Fulham since 1979. In the last 45 years, 18 matches have been played at Stamford Bridge without Chelsea being defeated by Fulham. What a record. I don't know how many of you were born at that time. <laughs> Since 1979. How many? Are, let me hear from you. If you were born there, let me know. Let me hear from you. 1979. Someone's birth date. Someone's month of the year of birth. Yes. Someone that I know is year of birth. 1979. Since then, Chelsea has not lost a single match to Fulham at Stamford Bridge. 18 matches were, were played at Stamford Bridge between the two teams. Chelsea, Fulham, and Chelsea did not lost a single. Will it be, to, today's game, is the record going to continue? Or Fulham going to break the record? We want to see. I am of the belief, I am of the belief that Chelsea will continue with a good record. I want to believe that our team, our squad, our players, they are coming to react. They are coming to react. Yes. And if the reaction is positive, then we should be going up in the first half. <laughs> I'm not predicting yet. I will come back to do that two hours to the game, dear friend. So that's the record. That's a quick record for you there. Who cares to know about records? And this is what the coach of Fulham has to say. Marco Silva on William returning to Stamford Bridge. We know William was one of our best players some years back. Especially in the last days of Jose Moreno. There was a time when it looks as if William was the one carrying the whole squad, you know, on, her, on his shoulders. William was carrying the whole team on his shoulders when the team was not performing. I remember very well. I think 2014, 2015. He carried the whole team on his shoulders, scoring goals, free kicks, everything is about William. Yeah, now he's with Fulham. And Marco Silva on William returning to Stamford Bridge. This is what he said. The connection between him and the club, Chelsea, is huge. It is huge for him and the fans. We felt it last season when he was substituted and the ovation he got. The respect they showed for him is huge and it's deserved as well because what he's doing in our club at 35 years old makes you think what he can do at 37 or 38. Dear friend, that is from the coach of Fulham. He did not just end it there. He also continued on. He said, of course, Marco Silva on Chelsea, he said, of course, when you make many changes inside a football club, he was asked about the progress of Chelsea so far. And he, this is what he said. He said, of course, when you make many changes inside a football club, what I can see from the outside is that the changes are there and they have a manager who knows the Premier League really, really well. I think what he's, what he's done already in his career speaks for itself. I have a huge respect for him as well. 
We have a very good relationship and a good connection. They are a very good side with a very good manager as well. And I'm sure it will be a very tough game for us, according to Marco Silva, Fulham manager. All right, let's get back to the main issues of the day. Chelsea. Well, it's been the news that I am Martin, finally, finally, with Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, Borussia Dortmund. Finally, I am Martin has arrived with Borussia Dortmund. And um, Pochettino spoke regarding it yesterday. This is one of the things he said. He said, I think it's, it is good for the club. It is good for him. I hope he has the possibility to play more than here. I think for both sides, it is a good decision. Look, is somebody really doing the right thing here? Or, or it's me, or it's my, my brain that is not really working. We don't have a left back performing every day for us. Ben Chiwell has been injured, now coming back. The only outright left back we have, we allow him to go on loan. And our coach is happy about it. Why? Just look at the picture on the screen. I've come to realize that Port didn't like I'm, I'm Madsen just because of the height. You know, most coaches, they prefer, you know, the players with the, with the height at the defense. Just because of the height, his body stature. So it does not matter what he, I'm Madsen is doing on the ground, on the field of play. That is why he kept playing him at the wrong positions. He, he doesn't like to play him at that left back. And he's not concerned that I'm Madsen has been sold. How are we building this, this club, this team? We'll go, we'll go deeper. We shall go deeper. Yes, we will go deeper. We will go deeper. Why do I say so? Christopher Nkuku, so far not so good. We signed him because we wanted a player like his caliber on the pitch of play. So what went wrong from preseason that until now? We cannot get Christopher Nkuku fully fit, 100%, and that will begin to deliver. Listen to what Mauricio Pochettino has to say about Christopher. Mauricio Pochettino hints that Christopher Nkuku's injury issues may mean Chelsea need to bring in a goal scorer. Meaning that as we speak, Christopher is still in a very bad condition. Nkuku is still in a very bad condition. He is in a terrible condition right now as we speak. That even our coach is not sure when he is going to return or whether he will be fit in time to help the squad. He is hinting now that, and it's not only here, that Chelsea will have to look back into the market and get replacement for Christopher Nkuku. I told you yesterday, it's one of the reasons why we're looking at Paulo Dybala, who is also injury prone. In fact, he is he's the main, when he said injury prone, this is, there's nothing, there's no description that I can use to describe Paul the Ballad than injury prone. When he say injury prone, yes, he is the one. He played 13 minutes, you go for the medical room for two weeks. And we were looking at such a player. This is why I kept saying that we, Chelsea, these owners, they have no idea about football. They left everything for these tech, these so-called uh, uh, recruitment directors, Paul Stanley and uh, whatever they call themselves, and they are messing the club Chelsea up. Okay, they want to go in for a goal scorer. He's not talking about a striker because that one we know that they are working on a striker, right? But he's looking for alternative goal scorer. Who do we get now in the market as the alternative goal scorer? And in Kuku's situation, somebody needs to come out and explain. Each time, he kept saying they will have to assess. Even as at yesterday, he still repeated it. They will have to assess Christopher and Kuku to know exactly. So for 10 days, today making it 11 days, assessment is not, has not taken place yet. The medical department, they are not at work. They are all on Christmas holiday. I guess so. Listen to what he said. Pochettino on Nkuku. He was the only player that was performing, of course, in a different league in Germany. That is his record. Why we bought him, but was consistently scoring goals. That is in Germany. 
That was the situation before the start of the season. Yes, when we were in preseason, he was very good, scoring goals for us in preseason. Jackson is 21. Broyer is 21. And they are young guys who must adapt. That is why we feel a bit more the heat of losing Nkuku. Because we were sure he was consistent in scoring goals. This is during the preseason. This is the reason why when they were buying uh, uh, Nicholas Jackson, they saw Nicholas Jackson as a player that can complement Nkuku. I personally, I witnessed it in the preseason. Both complemented each other. But Christoph got injured before the summer window was over. If my record sets me right, if my memory set, sets me right. Christopher got injured before the window was over in the summer. Smart guys could have done smart business. It's a blow. It has become compulsory for Jackson to score with every touch and do well. Broja, with one year out, needs to play three games in a row, and that's difficult for him. Dear friend, I will come back to this issue because what I want to talk about next is related, directly related to this. But because of time, watch out for the next episode in the next few hours. What I'm about to discuss with you next is related to this. So don't miss out. Christopher Nkuku and the rest of the squad. We are going to look at them from now, between now and the next, before the game. I shall be back with the next episode. Don't go anywhere. Stay glued and I shall surely deliver to you. Listen, it is Chelsea's game night. Today is our game and it's a must win game. It is a must win. That one for sure. And we fail to win tonight's game, today's game. There's a problem. <laughs> well, I'll see you when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.